Okay, so here is the latest secret compartment build. And I'm gonna show you how I did the little hidden latch on that compartment right there, and sort of how it all came together. So, yeah, check it out. Okay, so today I've got to, so this is going to be a drawer. So this uh, door opens up, it's gonna stop right here. And that is the floor. And I've got to figure out how to put a latch right here. So it stops right there. And then the latch is gonna be hidden underneath so you push the button and then the drawer will open the rest of the way so you can get behind it. And so I'm gonna build it out of these pieces of metal. It's half inch by I think eighth. Um, and just see how it goes. This is gonna be interesting because I'm out of this kind of metal. So these are the last pieces I have. Otherwise I have to run down to the store and grab some more. But I think I have enough here to make my little latch. So I will show that process. Look, it's a perfect match. I'm probably going to start by cutting that there and then bending it down to probably uh, that shape right there. So that it will catch when the door shuts. And then I might just use gravity on this one, but I still need to have it pivot here. So probably gonna end up and then somewhere in here I'll drill through and put a little knot latch there so there'll be a little uh, probably a three-quarter inch hole drilled into the bolt to the base of that um, uh, drawer thing that I'm building and then there I will have this inset and my mechanical pencil is about to lose its lead with a screw going down right there that's not in very tight into a hole right here and I'll use probably beach on the button here because beach is so dense and hard and that'll all go inside of the hole that I'm gonna drill there in the odd shape drawer thing that I'm building with the latch that's gonna go over to the edge come down and catch the drawer front and I'll put a little metal strike plate so it doesn't chew up the wood. And uh, yeah, that should go past a little bit, but I've got to make a pivot. I could make a pivot here, but I need it to go up when I push here. Show the hole here. weld on a piece of this bar sticking down and have that be the button where you push that up and then do another one right here that comes the other way with a spring on it oh that's how I'm gonna do it and then it'll be a low profile might be a little bit more complicated but I, I, sort of like putting a puzzle together it's, so if that comes in that, obviously the view is flipped. And then I put a spring here on that little nub coming through here. And I'll actually use a smaller metal bar. Drill a little hole here, put a cotter pin to hold the spring down. That will hold that down. And so that when I push here, ah, I still needed to pivot here though. switch those two around so the buttons here to push up that is there holding it and then these two would keep it centered and then I would just screw that down so I'd have to inset this piece two screws so it doesn't pivot and then 
both a peg coming out here and a peg from here going down that's the button that pushes it up okay that'll work I'll draw that up really quick so side view it's gonna have that bar here you don't see it but there'll be a hole going through the So there'll be a little teeny hole drilled here, like a quarter inch hole, that hole, it's already drilled. And then I need to drill another one here for a screw to go down into, and I've got to bevel it so it sits in flush, and another one probably here to hold, so a screw there, and then another one here. And I'll put a peg coming out right here that'll go in this hole and then this that's a little uh, catch this is all side view you yeah, know a little catch there whatever because I'm gonna bend that cut it and bend it and then weld it we'll have a peg coming through all the way welded. Actually, I'll weld it on the top so the weld doesn't get in the way of the hole. And then on this peg, I will have a spring, the cotter pin, holding that into place on top. So you push on this and it's going to release the catch. That's complicated. Let's just go and build it. I got it. I know how it's going to do it. Let's go. going to be the catch so I gotta weld that because it's cracked
So I got to, let's see, this one is the one that needs that welded like that. And this is the one. basically gonna sit like that. There's gonna be a spring here with a little cotter pin holding it in and then this is gonna be the button underneath there. But I've got to weld that on and I've got to weld uh, that little nub right there. So I'm actually gonna f um, put a little bit of an inset on that with the drill press before I get going. And that can... Super easy latch. Actually, a lot of my latches are built like this, but we will uh, show that. So, I just broke the belt here a little bit. But, I do that all the time. So I'm gonna go fix it. Let's go fix it. It's a busy. I gotta grind those off flat. And, uh, I got this piece. Um, I got this piece. And now I gotta pick out a spring that will work. I've got a lot of springs, obviously. I think that little guy right there will work. I wanna see if it works. So that's gonna go like that. And the spring goes on like that. And then I need a cotter pin, which I don't have a cotter pin. Bunch of cute little cotter pins and I lost them. I don't know where they went. Alright, piano wire it is. I'll cut this and try not to put my eye out as it flings across the room at a thousand miles an hour. And catch my spring. Well, I don't know where this side went. I don't know where the other side went. Piano wire is like a bullet every time you cut it. Okay, yeah. so. That goes there, that goes there. So, and then 
then that'll work. Now I just gotta go and install it. It's not super straight, so I'll have to adjust it. Uh, but it should work. Should work really good. Anyways, let's do this real quick. All I really gotta get done now, on the last part of this, is the catch. And I've got this last piece of metal I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put it right here, and uh, then the little secret latch will work, and then I can trim out that pocket, and it will look nice. Anyways. doing like a 45 there just so that when the catch comes it slides past and then catches
So there's that latch. It makes it so it can come to there and stops. Reach up under there and push the button. It uh, comes the rest of the way open. That's that. Okay, so here's the finished product. You got your drawer, you got your little trash can, and you built a little sweeper. Sweep that in there, all your crumbles. And then if you need to empty it, that comes out. And then, little trigger under there, it opens up. You got your snake. I've got a hidden compartment I'm gonna add some stuff to. And then as well, on this, this actually turned out pretty cool. So you got your roll tray that comes out here show you how this works in here. That clicks in there. This is gonna be a knot that I actually, uh, so that keyhole will be hidden. And then I'm gonna have a really gnarly old tree carved out right there. Um, right open there. That's how I finish the inside. Um, I still need to chop this off right here so it only sticks out a little bit. And then you, so if you turn this the other way, 
then it opens up to there. Down here is gonna be a drawer. And shut it, turn it the opposite way, open it, opens up a different drawer. Um, and then of course, got your roll tray, it pops out. And then on top here, I've got all the burls and stuff that I'm gonna be picking from to put the top in. This plywood won't be here, but I just put it there for reference. This is all gonna be a resin, like a river. River resin table type deal on top with a lot of cool stuff in there. And uh, yeah. Also, if anyone knows what kind of wood this is, I call it scribble wood. I just think it looks awesome. It's probably gonna go on like the captain's table or something like that, but pretty cool. Also, um, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoy the build video. And if you wanna support me, there is a link to Patreon in the top. So appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the build.